Hey, boys and girls. It's time for Uncle Jay Explains the News. Now here's the guy who helps little minds understand big news stories, Uncle Jay. Hi, boys and girls. Well, the news lately has been filled with familiar stories and people that just won't go away. And that's why Uncle Jay's news word for this week is persist. Persist means something that just keeps coming at you, just won't quit. Oh, kind of like another Osama bin Laden video. He's all duded up trying to recruit younger people once again to his cause, but it won't work. And unfortunately, this persists. This was supposed to win back fans after a long stretch of messy breakups, embarrassing friendships, and bizarre episodes. And this was supposed to win back fans after a long stretch of messy breakups, embarrassing friendships, and bizarre episodes. You know, maybe she should try to be a little bit more like him, a little more dignified. And maybe he should try to be a little bit more like her, loosen up a little bit. And maybe they'd both get better reviews. Well, something else in the news that seems to persist is O.J. Simpson. Some of you boys and girls might remember last time he was in the headlines. He was in a big courtroom trial, just like Boston Legal. But instead of Captain Kirk being there, it was Mr. Sulu and Scotty. And then when it was all over, O.J. Simpson wrote a book called If I Did It, but it never got published until now, except the name has been changed and the publisher, and O.J. Simpson himself now is in trouble again, maybe. If you're having trouble following this, don't worry, Fox News will. Well, one more news story that we're seeing is Notre Dame losing in college football. They're 0-3, boys and girls. Can Notre Dame pull it out and have a winning season? No unless they can get themselves a good video camera like the New England Patriots. Uncle Jay uses a Panasonic GS180. It's a really good mini DV, has a great digital zoom, and it hides very nicely under your armpit. Okay, boys and girls, it's time to answer one of your news questions. This week it comes from Robbie in South Bend, Indiana. Hi, Robbie, and condolences. Robbie writes, Dear Uncle Jay, what does financial impropriety mean? I saw that Hillary Clinton had to return some campaign money because of it. What is it? Thanks, Robbie, and condolences. Um, well, if your dad gives you money to get your mom a birthday present, but instead you pre-order Halo 3 with it, that's financial. Okay. Well, Hillary knows a guy who gave her lots of campaign bucks, but he turned out to be a fugitive, and now he's in jail. Nobody knows where his bucks came from. She's had to return all the campaign bucks, but at least now she can say, I did not have bucks with that man. That was weak. Well, boys and girls, send your news questions to Uncle Jay at UncleJExplains.com. Check back next Monday when Uncle Jay explains the news. And remember, a good kid is good news. <laughs> <laughs>